One ROTC cadet is blazing a trail from the gridiron to the battlefield. Sergeant Raymond Flores introduces us to Dan Nelson, a soon-to-be commissioned second lieutenant. Um, things that no one else from the outside sees, you know, the self-sacrifices that don't make the newspapers, that don't make the big screen on a football game, you know, but it's the guy running down on kickoff, it's the guy taking the big hit for the team, it's the guy being deployed for the third time or something like that in the military who doesn't, doesn't even question it, just does what he's asked. And uh, I think those are the type of sacrifices that you learn to make when you're part of a football team or part of the military. Come on, baby. Hey. Hey, come on, you know, you're training for strength in every sense of the word, in both. You're trying to make yourself mentally tough and physically tough. Um, the difference maybe is the importance, I guess. Like, uh, when I'm training in football, I'm terrified that I'm going to let my team down, and I'm terrified that we're going to lose the game. I'm training for the military. I'm terrified that I'm going to let my soldiers down. I'm terrified that maybe some of them won't come home. That weight, the weight of the responsibility of other people's lives, people that you're directly involved with and indirectly involved with, make you grow up really quick. They make you grow strong really quick. That's why you have all these 18-year-olds who come home from boot camp, no matter what service it is, and they're like, wow, you, know, you seem different. You seem a lot older than your age. I've got to have... I've, I've had this football scholarship for, you know, four years now, whatever. I haven't had to pay for a dime of school, and I get a UCLA degree at the end of this year. And I've got to play football. They give me all this free good stuff. You get attention, you know, people watching you on TV. You get to play in front of thousands and thousands, 100,000 great fans at a time. And that's all great. I've been spoiled for four years, and really I've been spoiled for 24 years now, you know, in my life. And now it's time to give something back. Like, uh, I don't want to go through my life knowing that I've always been spoiled like that by this country and by the people who are serving for me and protecting me while I have all this fun and everything like that without doing my fair share. So really, it's not a sacrifice to me as much as it is like a good feeling for me. Like, uh, It's more rewarding than anything I've done in my life, and I, I'm looking forward to that reward.